Good morning, this is Dr. Lee with another daily dose of Derm Path Made Easy. This is a juvenile xanthogranuloma. For everybody that answered JXG on Facebook, great job, guys. I think almost and just about everybody got this one correct. So JXGs, we call these juvenile xanthogranulomas because they are more common in younger people, but they can really occur at any age. So outside of um, juvenile age group, we just typically call these xanthogranulomas. So these are typically biopsied um, by the clinician. Usually they know what they know it is, but if it's not really showing that uh, pink color, um, and sometimes there may be some pigmentation, you know, people consider a mold or a nevus in the differential here. Um, but most of the time they do know what it is because it, it, it may, may have a yellow tinge to it depending on how much lipid is deposited. So the way to approach this biopsy is we have a sort of a, a dome-shaped papule that's lifted off the epidermal surface. Um, it'll feel firm. And what we see in the epidermis is the epidermis is somewhat thin and you have elongated reedy ridges or acanthosis. So as we look around this slide, out in this quarter here, you have some darker bluer cells and then scattered in between, you see these even larger cells that look a little bit darker. And then you have some of these larger cells here that have sort of this pale rim of stuff around it. And then as we go down in here, there's more of this pale stuff. So we're going to take a higher power look at what all this is. So let's come up to this first region first. And you can see that we have some of these uh, darker bluer cells, and these are lymphocytes. And scattered in between, we have these pale cells with, the, with this sort of foamy or granular cytoplasm. These are, um, these are macrophages that, are, that have lipid in them. So we call these foamy macrophages. So we have a mixture of lymphocytes, we have a mixture of foamy macrophages and scattered around. Um, these are also macrophages within tissue that have taken on this giant cell form. And um, these are called Teuton giant cells. As we come up here to this upper quarter here, you can see that Teuton giant cell here is really pronounced and almost looks like, you know, like a spider eye with a, a wreath or some people call it a wreath of nuclei. Um, so this is all lipid. So earlier on, these lesions tend to be sort of red in color because at, at first we have just lymphocytes. And then, it, and then you get take on some lipidization, so that's why you have all this pale stuff. And um, later on, even, even later, you start losing those giant cells and it becomes more spindle. And, you know, when you're looking down here, it's start, sort of hard to tell exactly what kind of cell type we are. But... The histiocytes are one of these cells that take on a bunch of different morphologies depending on what stage of the lesion um, it is in. So, but universally, you can almost all see, you know, a certain degree of foamy cytoplasm no matter what kind of morphology these cells take. And um, so these are totally benign. And um, if you leave them alone, they go away and they go away by regression and fibrosis. But this is still a very active lesion. Um, do not be too concerned. You know, you can see here we have some degree of pleomorphism within within these uh, these histiocytes, but um, don't be too concerned. You may even see a few mitotic figures, but on some of these challenging lesions, one special study that you can do is immunohistochemistry for CD68. All the cells in here, um, except for the lymphocytes, will be CD68 positive. So all these, you know spindle to scallop cells and up here these Teuton cells, they will all be CD68 positive. CD1A is also typically done um, just to rule out a Langerhans cell process, um, which you would expect to have CD1A positive. So this, this lesion would be CD68 positive, CD1A negative. Um, but when lesions are this kind of classic, we don't do immunohistochemical stain. It's unnecessary. So just to wrap this up, this is a JXG, and this lesion is a nodule, um, nodule to papule, depending on the size. It's a poorly circumscribed lesion with sort of elongated extended reedy ridges and a thin epidermis. Um, characteristic cell type here for a JXG is this Teuton giant cell, but you will see other types of histiocytes within here. Um, some of these you know, sort of epithelia, just scalloped or spindled cells. Um, and also scattered lymphocytes and eosinophils are fairly common, which you see here, these are all lymphocytes. 
thanks again for showing up today. And um, I, if you haven't already and you're getting benefit out of these lessons, please like, subscribe, and I typically post something every single day. So give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.